Alright you guys, so I'm back with another renovation and in today's video we're going to be renovating the projects. So we got four buildings right here and they each have two apartments in them and they are all, I think, two bedrooms. Yeah, they're all two bedrooms, one bathroom. And I'm not even going to lie, on the inside of these, they don't look bad, they just outdated. So with this remodel right here, I'm not going to go too crazy because this is the projects. I'm not going to make it look too modern or nothing like that, but I am going to make it look decent. I'm not going to use my recessed lighting, so I'm going to just use these little lights right here. And I'm going to go with my basic standard paint swatch, but I'm going to use it in this brown color. So I'll run this all the way throughout this whole apartment. And this is a two bedroom, one bathroom like I mentioned, but I think we should add a half a bathroom from in here so right here is the back door so what i'm thinking is we take some space from this bedroom and make a half a bathroom right in this space so if somebody come in the back door they can just go right there to the half a bathroom and should we try to squeeze a laundry room in here okay i got an idea for the laundry room first let's go ahead and remove these cabinets and stuff out this kitchen i just left this here so i can get a little idea for my kitchen design and i kind of got a little idea how i want to do this it's going to basically be set up the same way but a little bit different so i'm gonna run these hardwood floors all throughout except for maybe in the bathroom rooms and then wherever I decide to place the laundry room and I actually never use these tile floors right here in any of my builds so I'm gonna place these in this bathroom and in the half a bathroom in this front door right here I kind of like this door right here so I think I'm gonna just keep this door and I'm gonna paint this in a uh, white and yellow and I'm definitely switching out this door right here because I hate these all glass doors this look like something that would be a shower door so I'm gonna just switch that out and I know this might not be the best ideas but I'm gonna just copy this same front door and place it right here as the back door all right so for our kitchen I'm gonna use these cabinets from the parent Parenthood pack, you know, turn on BB.move objects, I always forget to do that. And I'll place a corner cabinet here, a regular cabinet there, and then I'll just run this all the way down to right here. Refrigerator on the end cap, sink in the middle, uh, and I'm thinking I'm going to switch this window out. Yeah, I'm going to probably switch this out. All right, so the stove will go here. I'll just use my London stove. We're going to go with the white upper cabinets. Place the corner cabinet there. And I feel like this is going to look nice in this kitchen. So I'm going to just take this turn on free placement and raise it up just a little bit above the cabinet right there. And I'll place another full tile here and one here. As usual, I'm going to place a half a tile above the refrigerator and a window above that sink. But I want to use something like this. I feel like this right here is a nice window, but it's just, it's got like an opening. I'm not, it's not even a glass in the middle. So we're going to just have to pretend this has a glass in it and it's a regular window but i'm gonna place this here um should we do an island let's see i mean this is a big enough kitchen for an island but i'm thinking like this is not like a regular apartment this is supposed to be the projects ah uh, forget it i'm gonna just do an island my projects is gonna be a very nice project so we'll do these island cabinets on the back of this I need to slide that one over and how should we do the island should we do the island gray white or in this dark blue color uh, i think i'm gonna go with the gray all right so we got a nice little island place some bar stools to it and i was gonna do some lights above this island but like i mentioned this is the projects and i don't want to go too crazy in here so i'm not gonna do that but i am gonna place a backsplash so for the backsplash i'm gonna go with something like this i feel like this looks decent in here and i'm gonna do a full tile cabinet above this stove but raised up a little bit and i'll just slide a stove in right up under that all right so that's the kitchen let's move on over here to this half a bathroom all right so i'm gonna just stick one of these light fixtures in here grab one of these vanities like i used in the kitchen and place back here on this back wall I just realized that the door is right here and not right there. So I'm going to take this little sink right here, raise it up once, and turn on free placement and slide it right into that vanity. Place a toilet beside it. And y'all know the routine, these long LED mirrors against this back wall. And we got to place two of those just to pull it down to the edge. And above that toilet, I'll just place a little tile rag. All right, so this is the living room space. This is a pretty big living room, not going to lie. I'm going to just stick a table maybe right here. Place a TV on top of it. Oh, I need to turn that around. I'm probably just going to keep that same one window all these same windows and then paint them in white and slide these over i'm gonna place a rug here in the middle a long couch here well i'm gonna slide that back a little bit like right there and stick the love seat over here on this side and on this side over here i'm gonna stick these like little foot almond things but you can still use these as little seats so i'm gonna just stick two of these over here on this side and i know over there we already did a coffee table but i feel like we should place another one in the middle of this so should we do the same coffee table yeah i'm not even gonna lie i know this might look a little stupid but i'm gonna do the same coffee table in the middle okay that definitely looks stupid matter of fact we just gonna remove that one. Oh, i forgot about these little far places maybe i'll just place this one here remove this window and place a tv up on the wall above it and then over here on the sides is we can do these little lamps on both sides on to the main bathroom so i like i said i'm probably just going to end up keeping all these same windows just
just painting them white and like i told you guys i want to find a little spot to place a laundry room and that's what i'm gonna do in here so i'm gonna place a little room right here at an archway there and stack my washer and dry in here like i'm not sure if this shower tub combo is still gonna be functional if i place it back here like this we'll try it out though but i'm gonna place the shower tub combo there build a wall in front of it place a toilet here and then a vanity here so in this main bathroom i'm gonna actually do like i did in the last bathroom and do a build hack so i'm gonna just raise this sink up once slide it in the vanity and stick mirrors along this back wall and above this toilet in this bathroom i'll probably just place this picture all right so that's the main bathroom and i like the way this turned out i like how we got the little laundry space right there and then we got shower tub combo here and that inspiration came from actually the projects in my town they got like the washer and the dryer in the bathroom but it's not like stacked up on top of each other it's just a regular wash and dryer in the bathroom so i want to stack mine all right so over here we just got a plain bedroom we got this window in here i'm gonna place this directly in the middle paint it white and just simply stick a bed against this back wall oh i thought that space was gonna be big enough to place nice stands beside it okay so we'll do the bed here dress at the foot place the tv on top of it and nice stands on each side of this bed well i have to slide the bed over a little bit to be able to fit a nice stand over there on that side so we'll just stick this nice stand here over this side i gotta slide this bed over a little more i just gotta slide this whole thing over a little more i hate that it's not gonna be even with the tv but at the end of the day it'll still work out all right so above the bed i'm gonna just place this picture place a lamp on each one of these nice stands and why didn't oh that one did light up okay over here i'm gonna do this maybe like a kid's room i really should have made this the main bedroom right here but i got an idea for here so i'm gonna take this bunk bed with a regular size bed at the bottom and place should we place in the corner or should i place in the middle okay i'll place that there like that slide this window in the center and center this one can't place a nice stand beside the oh wait we might can we slide that now nah, we still won't be able to so can't do nice stands beside the bed but what i will do is first try my best to find a matching dresser okay i feel like that match is pretty good so i'll stick that down here to the foot place the tv on top of it and i was thinking about doing a white chest over here that's not blocking the walkway i don't have no other chest that matches anything i could use this one but this one looks real old and beat up okay for now we're just gonna go with the white chest i want to place the chest over here so i'm gonna place the chest over there and stick some pictures i'm gonna just stick three of the same pictures along this back wall and i'm looking at this space back here and this is kind of giving me the idea to place an accent table back here so i'll just slide that accent table there place a nice big pitch on this back wall i'm gonna lift it up just a little bit like that place one of these plant on each side of this and put a nice little lamp in the middle of it all right here in the middle of this i just want to place a big pitch on this wall so i'm gonna slide this picture right here in the middle of these two doors and on the exterior of this i'm gonna just go ahead and remove these plants out the front and with the landscaping i might end up adding more plants i'm not sure yet let's just see how this is gonna look all right so first thing i'm thinking is we definitely get rid of this ugly brown foundation and just go with a plain white one and i'm thinking like how projects actually look and it's usually like brick on the bottom and then on the top floor is siding so i'm gonna go with that same concept on this building so i'm gonna go with this brick right here on the bottom and i'm just gonna wrap this all the way around this bottom floor add some new fencing up to this front door well matter of fact maybe we drag this front porch all the way down on both ends so it's kind of like a little porch you got then add some new fencing and a new railing i'll probably just do this stuff right here all right so i'm gonna do that on the bottom floor and then i'll do the top floor once i do the next part to this now let's focus on this landscaping so on this little side part right here i'm gonna just place some grass i'll probably do something across the back too over here i'm guessing was supposed to be like a little park area or something i don't know this is like a little side yard um i'm not sure if how's how this is supposed to work is it a little side yard for the top floor too i'm not seeing one so what i'll do is give this yard right here a little privacy and put a fence up i'm trying to think of where i could add a yard for the top floor okay so i got an idea i can actually slide this lot in the middle and then the top floor backyard to be right here place a fence around this and add a staircase so when you come out the apartment you'll be able to go down to go out to the front and then you'll be able to go out to the little yard all right so that's the top floor yard this this little bottom floor yard place some grass here in the front and i'm gonna spray some fresh dirt in these little flower bed things and add some white trimming around this and add some white trimming around this i feel like this brown trimming is very ugly so i'm gonna just place some white trimming around that and we're gonna do that on both sides and i almost forgot we need to add some white trimming around this like this is gonna 
going to be the only thing that I'll be able to break off with a collide on the top. So I'm going to just wrap some white trimming all around this building. And you guys, I'm not going to leave this staircase like this. I'm going to add another fencing up there once I get to the top floor. So this is what the first apartment looked like before I renovated it. It looked pretty similar to this, just didn't have this furniture. And then this is what it looked like after. So I wouldn't consider this to be like a project's apartment no more. So let's go up here to the second apartment and I'm going to start renovating this one. First thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and grab my sledgehammer and move this furniture out of here. And for now, I'm just going to keep the kitchen items so I can put my own little design together for my new kitchen. So as I renovate these apartments, I still take into consideration that this is considered the projects. So I don't necessarily want to run my recess lighting throughout. So I'm going to just run these little light fixtures right here all throughout the whole house. And as you guys can see in the last apartment, I ran this brown color basic standard paint swatch. So in this one, I'm going to run the white one all through. And now I can go ahead and remove all these old cabinets and appliances out this kitchen because I got an idea how I want to set my new kitchen up. Up here, I'm going to use the same wood floors like I used downstairs, but just in a darker color. And I'll just run that all throughout. And in this apartment bathroom, I'm going to use these limestone tile floors in this gray color. In the kitchen, I'm thinking we go with the same bro hood cabinets, but in this white and blue color. In the next building, I'll probably just switch it up and use different cabinets, different floors, different paint swatches. So I just need to take that corner cabinet, slide there, and then slide these all the way down. And then slide the door down like that and place another cabinet here. Run two down here and then another corner cabinet here with two more cabinets right here. Oh, I need to slide that one over. Because in the last one, I did an island. So in this one, I want to do it a little different. So that door, I think the best color to paint these doors are black. And I'm going to switch that one out. And I'm going to just use this same front door right here like I did in the last apartment. All right. So I'm going to just stick some little island cabinets on the back side of this. Right here, this is where I'll slide the stove at. Down here on the end, I'll place my refrigerator. And then I'm going to just do these plain white bro hill full tile cabinets all the way around. Well, except for like in this corner right here. And I'm just going to raise this one up a little bit above the other cabinets and then right here we'll have to use a half a tile upper cabinet and then a half a tile cabinet above the refrigerator so i'm not even gonna lie i would really prefer to put my sink over here so i could put a window above it but i feel like it'll best fit in this island yeah i think i'm gonna just stick my sink in the island place the dishwasher right beside it and i'm not sure we're gonna use the filler space over here we might just leave this the way it is so on the end of this cabinet i see the perfect opportunity to do a bill hack so i'm gonna grab this block of wood right here turn around blow it up and then raise it up once and slide it right here on the end of this cabinet to kind of do like a waterfall island effect i'm gonna just keep repeating that same process and i'll probably need to do this like three times and now we got our waterfall island bill hack and that won't affect anything it won't make anything unfunctional I can still place bar stools here and everything will still be functional. So instead of doing like I did in the last apartment, which I placed a cabinet above the stove with a stove vent, I'm gonna just place this modern style stove vent above this stove like that. And we don't have to place a half a tile cabinet above it. And then I'm gonna use a backsplash that I haven't really used in a while, which is this gray little squares backsplash. It has little squares in them, but you can't really tell unless you get close up on it like that. Um, This bathroom is pretty skinny and long, but I think I need to just pull it out when I know this is gonna look a little stupid and it's gonna take up a lot of space space from the walk space but I feel like it's gonna work out perfectly the way I want it to what I'm planning on doing in this bathroom is doing two vanities here and hopefully this works the way I think it will I'm gonna place the toilet here shower tub combo back here in this corner and then build a square right here for this little laundry room and in front of this shower tub combo I need to build a wall to separate that in the toilet all right so right here I'm gonna place a little archway just so we'll be able to go ahead and stack our washer and our dryer in here back over here to these cabinets I'm gonna do a bill hack with this sink and this this is not going to be functional unless you raise this up to a basement but i'm gonna just go ahead and slide this over here on this side and then another one over here on this side for the mirrors we're gonna do like i always do take these long led mirrors and just slide them against this back wall above this toilet i'm gonna just go ahead and stick a little towel rack and i think that it, since this is like the only bathroom in the house i feel like we should have an entrance here and then an entrance in from the master bedroom wait is this the master is these bedrooms the same size oh no this one is clearly bigger all right so over here in this living room i'm gonna just go ahead and paint these windows all black and like i did in the last one i'm not gonna build a custom fireplace i'm gonna just grab one of these fireplaces and stick along this back wall place a tv above it and then on each side i want to place one of these little tables these little square tables put a full-size couch here and then the love seat is supposed to go here but i feel like it's a little bit too close so let me back that up and then i don't know why but i love including these little squares as like little seats for like i guess kids maybe in my living rooms and now i'll just place three of these in here 
here. Even though I think this looks more like a fireplace than like a little coffee table, I'm gonna just stick this in the middle. And I know this might be a bad idea because I think that actually is a fireplace, but I'm gonna stick a rug underneath it. We're gonna just act like this is a regular coffee table without this fireplace. All right, so on each one of these little tables, I'm gonna just stick a little lamp. And then I think we should do a little accent wall in here. Out here to this little balcony, I'm gonna just use the same little fence that I used down there on that apartment. So I'll just run that across there. And I wish we was able to put a little window in this kitchen. Okay, this might look a little weird, but I'm about to try it. Maybe we'll just stick a window right here. Not interfering with the stove vane. It's not interfering with the stove. It's right in between both of them. Before I do anything else, I need to place a window here in this master bedroom. And we're gonna paint that all black. And I'll just go ahead and slot my bed up against that. Stick a nightstand on each side of this bed. Place a dresser in the front. And shrink down this curved TV in place right above it. In this area over here, I think we're gonna place this like little chest like thing against this wall right here and so i'm gonna stick this rug right here underneath like the front slash half a bed half of the bed and instead of placing lamps on top of those nice things i'll just place two lights above i'll place one light above each nice thing and i'm gonna also use that same accent wall that i used in the living room in this master bedroom over here in this kids slash guest room i'm gonna stick this bunk bed with a full size bed at the bottom right here well actually i'm gonna turn that to the side like that i think i should slide it over a little bit place a chest underneath that window and a tv up on this wall and i'll probably stick like maybe a little tv stand maybe something like that up under it change the color of it to match the bed a little bit and raise that tv stand up now let's move on to this exterior on this exterior i was thinking go a little bit different and go with this worn wood siding i feel like this will look good with that bottom color and it actually does so i'm gonna just run this all way around and then do white trimming on this part and then stick some more of this brick on this top little part right here and i see for this roof they got like little half wall trimmings and stuff so what i'm thinking is i want to keep these little like air conditioning unit things but i'm gonna just place them on the sides of the unit so i'll just place these down here and actually remove this half wall trimming and place a half gable roof on top of this so i'll place that there pull it all the way down pull it all the way back oh and this is high as heck i'm gonna just go ahead and lower it down and stick that same same brick that I was going to use up there on the half wall trimming around that. And of course, I need to place a roof pattern up here and some roof trimming. All right, so on this bottom floor, I left these windows white, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and paint those all black also. I just feel like that's going to make this look 10 times better. So all the way around, I'll just paint them all black. And I'm going to go ahead and paint these doors all black. Like I mentioned to you guys, we're going to have a little entrance. We're going to have a little exit down to the backyard and then one out to the front of this building. So I'm going to just go ahead and place some fencing around this. And I'm going to just use that same white and black fencing gotta add the railings on both sides and i need to go ahead and change out this staircase on this side and add some white trimming right here and then i see how they got this little sidewalk thing i'm gonna keep that going so i'm gonna just run this all the way around and then place some grass in between all right so all that's left to do in this exterior is add these little gate doors to these gates so i'll place one there on that gate and then i know i left this open but i'll just go ahead and stick the gate door there and pull this down and slide the gate door in the middle and in these little yards i want to do a little bit of decorating so i'll probably just place like a bike or a few bikes in each yard stick a little swing set maybe over here caddy corner right here and like a little kitty pool back here also i'll stick this over here maybe where that swing is at i'll place some little grass underneath it like that and put that caddy corner right there and this yard over here is so small we'll just be able to place a few bikes in here we need to put some new sand down and i'm not gonna probably be able to put a swing in this yard but i will put this little kitty pool over here so this is what building number one looks like fully renovated as you guys can see we did the first apartment and the second one now in this second building over here we're gonna be doing this building right here a lot different i'm gonna be using different cabinets different floors but in each of these apartments whatever floors and cabinets i decide to use i'll be using that same floor and cabinet in both apartments just in different colors so the first thing i'm gonna do is just go ahead and remove all these little bushes and trees and stuff from the outside of this building and let's move on into the first apartment in the second building all right so it's basically just like the other two apartments i feel like this one right here is a little bit smaller maybe and they just got everything shift to the opposite side what i'm gonna do is grab my sledgehammer go ahead and remove 
remove this stuff out of here and now i gotta remove everything that didn't remove with all that stuff one by one now we can lay out our new design we gotta put some lights in here first though because we can't do nothing in the dark all right so let's just go ahead and start off over here in this kitchen i'm thinking we build a little square right here because i got an idea how i want to set this kitchen up i'm gonna set it up pretty similar to the other kitchens but it's gonna be laid out a little differently all right so i'm thinking we go with these cabinets right here run this down place a corner cabinet there then add two cabinets right here and place another corner cabinet here and then obviously a door will go back here out to that side step slide two cabinets right here and i gotta back these up i did not mean to pull them forward turn bb.move objects on and put these island cabinets on the back sides of this okay so i know this is going to be a tight squeeze in between the door and the bar stools and stuff but i feel like everything will fit all right so the stove will slide right here then we can remove this cabinet and place our refrigerator here the sink will go right beside that or should we slide the sink down one and place a dishwasher here now we need the matching upper cabinets and i'm just gonna place a full tile cabinet there corner cabinet here and a half a tile above the refrigerator and then we'll stick two full tile cabinets over here and should i add a outer corner cabinet here wait am i placing this the right way i thought the cabinet was supposed to flip around right here i'm not placing this the right way or something okay i'm not sure how that's supposed to work so what i'm thinking is we'll just remove that cabinet from there slide this stove here and then just move all these cabinets over because i don't want to leave that end piece out like that so i'm gonna just slide everything over one place the full tile cabinet back right there slide these island cabinets out just a little bit and then stick up another full tile cabinet right there even though that's still a little bit too far over okay that's a pretty big bar for this small kitchen uh maybe we just push this back in boom okay now the outer corner cabinet wants to work we have to slide everything over a little bit so now i can place that there and then i know i shouldn't be sticking these bar stools here yet because i haven't done the floors or the paint or anything yet i'm gonna just go ahead and stick these here i mean over here i know i said i was gonna use a different paint swatch but i still want all these apartments to kind of look similar in some kind of way i feel like if i use this plain but pretty paint swatch this is gonna make this look way too modern at the end of the day these are still project buildings so maybe i'll just go with the basic standard paint swatch again in here but we're definitely going to use different floors in this building right here i'm going to use these hardwood hardwood floors and i'll run those all throughout except for in the bathroom we're still not done in the kitchen yet. i'm gonna just go ahead and take this stove in shrink it down one and slot it in between these cabinets above this stove and like i did in other apartments i'm gonna just stick this little square black window above my sink all right so the one thing we're missing in this kitchen is a backsplash and i'm trying to think off the top of my head which backsplash i want to use in here all right what backsplashes did i use over here so okay i use that one over here the diamond cut one over here and i use a square one here so maybe we can use this white one in here i feel like this looks good and as you guys can see this kitchen layout is a little bit similar to the ones over here in this apartment but it's definitely different that one goes like that and then this one goes to the side it doesn't go in the front of it so that's all for this kitchen now on over to this bathroom so what i'm thinking with this bathroom in the last one i just pulled it out one and added a laundry room to it but what i think i'm gonna do in this one is actually make this bathroom wider in the last one i was making them longer in this building right here i'm gonna switch it up and make these bathrooms wider and i think since we decided to use those color cabinets in the kitchen i feel like this is the best color floors to use in this bathroom so i'll place that there place two of these cabinets against this back wall i know i'm gonna place the toilet beside it and what i was thinking in this bathroom is switch up and not use a shower tub combo I actually make this bathroom look a tiny bit nicer and place a regular style tub here and then put half wall trimming on the side of it like that i said place half wall trimming i meant place a half wall and now i'm gonna place the half wall trimming on top of it move this ugly window and build a little room right here and this little room is actually gonna be the laundry room like i did in the last bathrooms except for it's just gonna be a little bit bigger and then this space over here will be where I'll place a custom shower. So I'm going to just go ahead and build the platform for that custom shower. Put an archway right here so you'll be able to walk in here into the washer and dryer. And where this washer and dryer is going to be, I'm going to place some wood floors. And this is something that I actually just found out today that they already got a set of washer and dryers that's already stacked. So I'm going to just grab that and I'll get that in white and place that right in here like that. Now you'll be able to access your washer and dryer. And this room right here is a little bit bigger than what i did in the other bathrooms in the first building so you'll be able to access that better on this back wall in this laundry room i think i should just place this 
picture here and then this wall right here we'll just leave it blank we can actually do like a little accent wall in there all right so boom that's the laundry room above this tub i want to do a window but i think this window right here is just so big maybe we try something else okay i know this window right here from the outside is kind of going to be ugly but i feel like this window fits perfectly because you will still be able to see the tile around it and then you'll have the window in the middle so i'm going to use this window use that same white tile that we used in the kitchen well actually i can take this accent wall that i used in the laundry room on this back wall and then use that same tile out the kitchen on the side walls and i'll just place that on this bottom part also all right so what i'm about to do to the sink right here is not functional but it's gonna make this look nice so i'm gonna just take this sink right here raise it up twice and simply slot it in the middle of this to make this look like a big sink and place these led mirrors against this back wall now that i'm looking at it i don't really like this sink so i'm gonna switch that out so maybe we'll just do this sink right here we'll raise that up once and slide that in there i feel like that looks 10 times better because the hardware matches the handles over here in this custom shower on the floor i'm gonna use this like gravel and i'll probably use that either in that white color or this light brownish color and do it the same way we did around the tub tile on the side walls and then this little accent wall on this back wall all right so in this video right here i'm not gonna use a macular shelving and above this toilet i'm just gonna use a pitcher so i'll just stick something like that above this toilet all right now on to this living room space i'm gonna just remove one of these curtains because i kind of actually like these curtains so i'll leave one on each side of the, each of these windows and i think i actually need to slide these windows over a little bit yeah i feel like that looks better and then i'll paint them i'm not sure which colors i'm gonna go with on the exterior yet so i'm gonna just paint these in black and i know this is something that i said i wasn't gonna do in these buildings because this is the projects but i just want to make this building right here 10 times better than i did the last one so i'm going to build a custom fireplace in here and like i did in the bathroom with that little accent wall i'm gonna just simply wrap that around this and add this window in the front of it raise this platform up a few times and like i normally do just black out the inside of this fireplace place and then stick some white marble some gravel whatever in the bottom of it now we need to stick a tv right above that glass and i'm thinking should i place cabinets on both sides should i do a cabinet on both sides of this and we can do those cabinets in white and then stick some brown immaculate shelving above both sides of these cabinets and i probably will need to build a wall here just so that's not sticking out all right so we're gonna do some simple furniture in here i'm gonna just to take this couch place here and i kind of hate that i only got a little bit of coffee tables i really need to get some more coffee tables because these right here are not it does that brown match with that uh not really but i feel like it will work so we'll just place this coffee table here in the middle. I meant to place the rug first, but we can simply just slide that there like that. And then I was going to say stick a love seat over here on this end, but I actually don't see a love seat that matched this chair. So it looks like we'll be using two of the little matching chairs on this side of it. So I'll just place one there and one here. And then hopefully it's enough space back here to add an accent table. Yeah, it's still a good amount of walk room. So I'll just place an accent table there. Shrink this picture down a little bit and place that right above this accent table and i know i need to slide this in the middle and then place a lamp on top of that over here in this space i would say this could be like a dining room space and this apartment right here actually seems like it's a little bigger oh it's because i didn't add a half a bathroom in here it's all right though we still gonna make this the dining room space so i'll just place the dining room table there and run these chairs all the way around this man and that's a pretty big dining room table i thought these colors matched a little better but they don't that's all right i'm gonna just do it like this i really need to get better with decorating him <laughs> all right so this is what a front door is supposed to go but it won't be centered and i want to use a different front door up here so i'm gonna just use this one we'll paint it black and then keep that same side door all right so in this first bedroom this right here is the guest bedroom which i think the master and this guest bedroom is now in the same size since i made that bathroom bigger but we still gonna consider this the guest bedroom matter of fact this bedroom right here is smaller than this one so this is the master all right so in this master i'm gonna kind of go with a bed that matches the living room table so i'll just slide that against this wall 
wall add these little table things as nice things on both sides of this bed place some lamps both of these little nice things and a picture above the bed all right so to the foot of this bed i'm gonna place a dresser and i'm gonna have to stick a tv on top of home oh i had the wrong tv okay so i can place this tv on top of that and i wanted to place a chest over there in front of the hat window but i don't have no chest that actually matched this dresser so i'll just stick this little dresser thing over here and i just realized i gotta actually slide this over a little bit because the door is supposed to go here where this nice thing is at now we can place our door here all right so in this guest bedroom i'm gonna just stick two twin size beds in here this could be either guest bedroom or kids room doesn't really matter but i'm gonna just stick two twin size beds in here nice little nightstand in the middle and a dresser at the foot and we'll do a door on this side and just to be different should i place a door on this side to the girl's eyes also i don't know i've never seen that but i feel like that's i like the way that looks so i'll place a tv here in the middle and then a lamp on the boy's side and i thought i had a pink lamp that's more of a purple one but i'm gonna still place it over here on this girl side and then i'll just stick a basic white rug here in between the beds like that all right so that is the kids bedroom now we need to move on to the exterior of this on the exterior of this one i think on this bottom floor we should go with more of a modern style brick because we made this like a little more modern than what we did the last one so i'm thinking we go with this brick right here on the bottom floor of this one add a new foundation and some new fencing around this little front porch thing which with this front porch i need to first pull it all the way down on both sides now we can stick the new fencing and railings right here i'm gonna just place this little white step remove this little trimming stuff right here from this side it's actually a fencing but i'm gonna run some new fresh white fencing slash trimming around this front part make this look a little better and as usual i'm gonna place some grass all the way around break some dirt in between these little flower bed things place some new sand in this little side yard and add the new fencing for that oh and we need to run some white trimming around this part right here all right so we were only on the second building and as you guys can see we already started the well we actually completed the first apartment in this building and yeah this is what it looks like so let's just go up a little step and go to the second floor and start on this apartment so like i mentioned you guys in each building i'm gonna be doing a different cabinet different floor and i might switch up the paint swatch i'm not sure but in this building right here we went with the parenthood pack cabinets and we used that in both apartments but we switched it up and over here we're gonna do a different cabinet in different floor like i mentioned so i forgot which pack these cabinets are from but i use them in this apartment and i'm gonna use those same cabinets in this next apartment but just in a different color with, with different floor colors all right so let's just grab the sledgehammer and remove everything out of here grab some lights and place all throughout and then get it straight into this remodel okay so down here we went a little darker with the wood floors so up i'm going with a lighter color and i'm gonna just run that all through all except for in that bathroom and like i mentioned this is low income apartment slash the project so i'm just gonna use the basic standard paint swatch and i'm gonna use it in this white color all throughout in this kitchen we're not gonna go too crazy i'm just gonna use two of these full tile cabinets and then a corner cabinet here and i'm gonna run this down three on this back wall you turn on bb.move object and right here align with these cabinets gonna draw a wall grab one of those cabinets so on half a towel and place it against there and i'm gonna place two of those and then grab the island cabinets and place on the back side of that okay so here in the middle i'm gonna move that cabinet slide this london choice stove there and then on this end i'm gonna remove this cabinet and place my refrigerator here. i might actually add a cabinet so i'm gonna just slide that down one and place a cabinet there oh and i didn't slide that refrigerator down enough okay right there man I just feel like that's a little bit too far out and then we still need to place the door here so I'm gonna remove that cabinet and place this little half a cabinet there and I need to change the color that okay so now we can slide the refrigerator over just a little bit more and now I can place my upper cabinets in here so I'm gonna place a half a towel above the refrigerator close out here go corner cabinet there and I forgot we did that little half a cabinet there oh I know what I can use to fill that space so I'm gonna just slide this cabinet down one and then in between there we can place two immaculate shelvings like that and then go full towel there and full towel there i need to pull out one down one and then we're gonna go a full towel here 
but raised up just a little bit. All right, so with these upper cabinets in that island, I want to go with a darker color. So I'm going to go with this dark brown with the brown head, with the lighter brown handles up top. And we're going to do that same color on this island. And I'm not even going to lie right now, I can't really think of any other tile backsplash to use in this kitchen. So for now, I'm just going to place this white backsplash, but I'm thinking about changing this up before the video ends. All right, so in this little island, I'm going to place my sink there. Oh, and it's interfering with that. So I need to pull this island cabinet out just a little bit. Place a dishwasher on this end and slot a door right here in the middle. And then on the end of this, I think we should just go ahead and place a wall here too. All right, so let's go ahead and place our windows in this living room. Um, In this one right here, I might go with a different fireplace than what I did in the last one. So maybe I'll just go one window in here, then draw my fireplace cross here like that. And I can actually still add another window right beside that. So on this fireplace, I'm gonna go with this very neat brick. Of course, like always, grab this black window and place there centered at the bottom raise the platform up inside this twice black out the inside and place gravel flooring in the bottom all right so i'm gonna go ahead and place this curved tv on this fireplace and i need to shrink it down one time and i think the best fit for a couch in this living room is a sectional so maybe we use something like this like right here use these little armless pieces like two of them place a wedge here and then go on down with these armless pieces okay so i'm not even feeling i'm horrible with decorating like if you was a subscriber for a while you know i always say this in every video but i'm horrible with decorating um i'm still gonna do that series like i mentioned but let's try to find a perfect rug for in here okay so after a few minutes of trying to find a perfect rug i I think this is the perfect one but i'm trying to decide what size should i do it and should i do it caddy corner like that towards the fireplace or oh, i need to pull it back or should i do it like that okay i feel like that fits perfectly all right so we got the perfect little coffee table and i think i want to shrink it down one and use it in all white because i can't find another color that will match with this so i'm gonna use it in all white and then i'm gonna just place like this little tree back here in this corner and maybe i should have slid this couch up just a little more and stick like a little nice white accent table to match with the coffee table behind it I'll take this flower right here raise it up and shrink it down place on top of this table and then stick this mirror on this back wall okay so that's our living room space in the dining room we're not going to go too crazy i'm gonna just use this little white table right here and then use some chairs that match that couch around it and then i'm gonna just remove this chair right here off the end because this is where the door for the balcony is supposed to go so i'm gonna just stick a slot into up here and you know thing we can use something a little bit bigger i know this is a little bit but i feel like this door right here will fit perfectly right here all right so just like i did down here in this apartment i'm gonna make this bathroom up here a little bit bigger and while i got this perfect idea for this layout i'm gonna just go ahead and lay this out so i want to do a cabinet here corner cabinet there and then of course i'm gonna place another one of those cabinets here so i'm gonna do a wall in between that and a shower tub combo and i'll slide a toilet right beside that and then just like in all the other apartments i'm gonna do a nice little laundry room in here all right so we'll stick up archway on the front of this and then grab the stack washer and dryer in place in here and i'm gonna keep this window above this toilet i'm gonna just lower it down some and change the color to all black and then i'll probably just go with these limestone tile floors in this bathroom and i know you guys are probably about to hate me for this but i'm gonna do a sink build hack in here so i'm just gonna take this sink right here place it raise it up once and slide it right in there like that and then we're gonna do the same thing on this side and run these long led mirrors all along these back walls all right so that's our bathroom let's move on to these bedrooms and these bedrooms it's gonna be pretty simple i'm gonna just paint these windows black and both of them and then just go simple in these bedrooms both of these are the same size but i'm gonna claim this one as the master bedroom so i'm gonna just place this little bed here and i can't find no nice stains that's the same color as this but this is the closest i'm gonna get to that so i'll place this one here and the other one here i'm gonna do a little accent wall in this bedroom and then the little lights hanging down from the ceiling and i'm gonna do that on both sides and at the foot of this bed i'm gonna just do this simple i'm gonna just place a dresser down here and stick a tv above it all right so in this master bedroom this is now complete Complete. so now we can move over here to this guest slash kids room in this kids room i'm probably gonna stick two twin size beds in this brown color so i'll stick one there and one here and i'm trying to find a bigger nightstand that matches with the beds but this is the only one that matches with that 
color a little bit. Okay, maybe we can just go with this. So I'm gonna place that in the middle. The TV right there up on the wall. And then a dresser below it that matches the beds. And I need to raise this TV up a little bit because this dresser is a little bit bigger than the other one that I usually use. And then on this wall over here, I wanna decorate a little bit. So I'm gonna stick a picture here. I'm trying to think of what else I could do in here. Maybe I'll just stick one of these lamps on each side. Cause you can't put no picture here because of that window. And on the exterior of this one, I think I want to go with this same little siding in the middle. And then on each one, I'll just change the bottom color. I feel like that'll make everything blend together. So we'll place this in the middle. Up top, we'll go with the same color that I use on the bottom. And we'll do white trimming up there. And I need to paint the inside of this. I forgot. And then place some white half wall trimming on top of this. Or should I do like I did over there and change it to a roof? Okay, yeah, that's what we'll do. Comment if I should do the same thing on the other two when I remodel those. Should I do a half gable roof on? On. the other two or should i just leave it with the half wall trimming because i see a lot of people in the comment section be saying like don't make major changes like changing the roof or making the house bigger or smaller so if you guys want to see me change that or leave it the same drop down in the comment section so now i need to paint that oh and i forgot to remove the half wall trimming out the middle of this so we can still remove that add a new sheet metal roof pattern and some white roof trimming okay i'm not even lying. this building looks pretty decent i would have went with a different color on it but i feel like i want all of them to kind of look similar Similar, but a little bit different so on the bottom of each one I'm gonna just go with a different color so we got a little bit left we got to do first thing I need to do is fix this little fence in here and here add the matching stair railing and then a white step okay so for the top floor you won't be able to into the yard unless you walk around the building but i'm gonna just go ahead and grab that same fencing and draw a little yard around here so we'll do it from here to like right here because i don't want this to be too big put some sand back here and i'm gonna leave half of it grass so i'll stick this little swing on the grass part and then just simply stick a few bikes back here so i'll place like three bikes back here and we need to add the fencing door so now we're just gonna go ahead and move on down to we're gonna move down to this one on the left this right here is basically set up like the rest of them but i'm gonna do a different kitchen design than what i did in these four apartments so let me just show y'all these apartments this is well actually this was apartment number one right here this is two and this is apartment number three and i did different kitchen layouts as you guys can see in each one and this is the apartment that i did in the last video all right so let's just go ahead and grab the sledgehammer remove everything out of here and of course it left behind some items but let's play some lights all throughout and get right into this remodel okay so the first First thing I like to do before I do anything is lay out my kitchen design. Now, I already got a little idea in mind. Like I mentioned to you guys in this building, like in the other two buildings, I'm going to be using a different style cabinet. And then that same cabinet will go in the apartment above this also. So I'm probably going to go with the Home Chef Hustle kitchen back cabinets in here. And I'm going to go with them in my favorite color, which is this one. So we'll just run this. Maybe I know what I want to do in the end there. So I'll put a cabinet here, maybe like three there. And then one of these tall double tile cabinets on the end. And I need to turn on bb.move objects because that cabinet is a little bit too high and i just want to lower it down one so we'll do that like that on this end this is where the refrigerator will go and then of course the stove will go in the middle so i'll just take that and slide that there and then grab the matching upper cabinets do two full tile and then maybe i'll do a full tile above the stove just raised up a little bit and like usual a half a tile above the refrigerator okay so with this one right here i did the little side islands and stuff so this one i'm gonna do an island directly in the front of it i need to pull it up a little bit with three y and then put some island cabinets on the back side of it okay so now i gotta try to figure out which backsplash i want to use um it's not too many tiles in here that i like so maybe we could go with this or is that too dark or should i go with this okay we're gonna try that out oh and up under here oh why did the white is glitching it got stuck i don't know let's slide this under this stove above this stove remove that i want to do some bar stools at this island i'm gonna just place them in any color and then try to find the color that matches these cabinets oh uh, let's see what's the best color either that and then i just noticed they got two of these same colors on here these are definitely the same two colors but it's gonna be between those two or that one that one kind of matches with the backsplash so we can do that yeah so i'm gonna just match them with the backsplash 
backsplash. And as you guys can see in here, I did a different kitchen design than all the other apartments. And basically all of them was a different design. As you guys can see this one right here. And then this one, this kitchen right here was basically the same way they had it. So this was the first apartment. So I just did this basically the same way they had it, but updated. And I think this is one of the biggest kitchens I did in these apartments. So yeah, all the kitchen layouts and designs are a little bit different. But this one right here in this building is totally different. All right, so on the end here, I'm gonna place a wall and then go basic standard paint swatch all throughout um, with the wood floors. We using different floors than what we use in every other building. So I'm gonna do these floors. I haven't actually used these in a while. So they match good with the cabinets and the countertops on that through there and in the bedrooms. And then I'm gonna do something different in that bathroom. Okay, so in this bathroom, I know I've been doing like little different designs with all other apartments, but I think with this one right here, I just wanna kind of go a little simple with it. So I'll probably just do like the matching cabinets out the kitchen in here and I'll do two of those. I'll probably just do the toilet here and then the shower tub combo here. So it's a little bit different than the other one, but pretty similar. A wall in between that and then the little laundry room. And matter of fact, in this one, since this bathroom is so big, we can do a sink on each side. We're gonna do a bill hack in here. So I'm gonna take this sink and just slide it in there like that. And then the same process over here, press all four back buttons, press circle twice, and then go up on the D-pad once, and then just simply turn on free placement using L2, and just simply slide it in the vent, in the cabinets like that. And these back walls, it's up to you which mirrors you wanna go with, but I usually just like to go with these long LED mirrors. And drop down in the comment section if you guys want me to go live on Twitch, maybe like an hour or two a day doing different renovations or different builds, or just random things in The Sims that I do when I'm not recording videos. Okay, so since we did that sink there, I'm gonna have to place the archway for this laundry room on the side, and then slide my washer and dryer in here, right there. Mm, towel floors in here, should we do with something like this okay i know i use these floors right here in the last apartment too but i feel like they look good and they go perfect with almost everything i'm going with the limestone tile floors i really love these floors so we're gonna go with them and then the last thing i need to just place my door here in the middle all right so that's the bathroom and if you guys haven't noticed in each building i tried to go with like a different fireplace design i didn't keep it the same in the other building i think it was because this one right here i used the same two fireplaces it was this building over here i meant to do this fireplace right here twice but i I didn't so what i'm gonna do is do this once in that building over there and then do this one once in that building too so that it basically equals out so over here i'm just gonna go ahead and remove this stuff remove one of these windows paint this one black and just slide it all the way down i'm gonna grab this wall tool and build me a wall across here like that and then we're gonna go down and grab the custom room tool and draw all the way around this boom and boom raise the platform up in the inside and then just simply remove this wall and now in this fireplace design is a little bit different than the other one all right so i'm gonna place some platform trimming on the furnace and i know it's kind of sticking out the outside but it's all right in this fireplace i don't want to use that same tile that i used in the kitchen because i just feel like it's a little bit too light turn on my wall and place it i feel like that's a little bit too light i don't know let's see what type of floors we should use on this little platform because i was thinking go light floors on the platform and then go with a dark tile or brick on a fireplace so if we do maybe like the limestone tile floors for example on here like that and i know this is not gonna blend with the kitchen but i was thinking we go maybe this dark brick on the fireplace or should i go with these floors okay i kind of like that let's just see how this will look once i put everything together i'm gonna stick this glass at the center of the bottom like that raise the platform up inside this twice and this is probably one of the most important steps about this fireplace build hack which is simply just taking any black tile brick stone or whatever and blacking out the inside and it's up to you whatever floors you want to use this is for like the new subscribers people that have been watching me y'all know i do this a lot so it's up to you if you want to use tile or grout floors in the bottom of it okay it doesn't look bad but at the same time i'm not even gonna lie this little dark color kind of throwing me off i might have to make something darker so it'll blend with everything i don't know i'm gonna go with the black windows and stuff so maybe that'll play off of that but let's get a black front door in place here before i forget and then i'm gonna use that same door oh maybe for this side door instead of using that i'll just use like a little patio sliding door here and this is my first apartment actually using that as the side slash back door okay so in here maybe we use a black table i'll slide that 
back and over a little bit maybe like right here i don't want it centered with the front door i'll place that there and then i want some black and white chairs it's got a little bit of white at the bottom let's just see how these will work place these all around this table oh and these are off i need to slide that one down and this one over and then maybe add a white and black rug underneath it okay that's nice i like that and then on top of this table i'll just place a plant i need to shrink it down and raise it up okay so in this living room right here i'm not gonna do a sectional like i did in the last living room that was like this probably just grab a black and white couch either this couch or something like this i think i'm gonna just place that there and grab a similar rug to the living room to the dining room rug and place under it and then this dining room that's interfering a little bit too much so i'm gonna just pull that over and back something like that and now that i got the little black and white theme going i think i should change these top floors down here to white floors okay so even though that's not playing with the rest of the house i'm making it play off the furniture so it still works so i'm gonna just stick this nice little black and white coffee table here in the middle a little black and white picture on this back wall and then this black and white accent tape under it oh and i'm forgetting the tv above this fireplace so i'm gonna take this tv and shrink it down one time and just slide it up a little bit and place it above this island i want to place some little matching lights so i'm gonna place that like right here i need to slide that one up and i wish i could stick a window here but that oh i know what i'm gonna do with that staircase so i can actually stick a window there let's just go ahead and solve this problem first and i want to do a small i like this one right here but i want to do something small or maybe maybe we would just use the same windows that they use in the bedroom right here so i'll just probably place that like right there so it's not interfering with that staircase and back here i'll place another picture up on the wall should we make it bigger no so i'll place a picture right here and i'm trying to find the perfect lamp to place on this table but i don't see a black and white one i could use this this doesn't go with what i want to do i don't have no other black and white one i'm gonna just use this one kind of throws off what i wanted to do but it'll work all right so let's get back here to these bedrooms boom this is the master over here so place a bed against this window dresser at the foot with the tv above it and i didn't realize that this dresser actually has pink legs okay sim i don't know who designed this in the sims but that was a horrible idea maybe we just do it like that okay so these are the closest i'm gonna get to the black and white nightstand so i'm gonna just place two of these in here and then stick these little black lights i wish they had white lights inside of them instead of this yellow lighting but i'm gonna place those above the edge of the bed and then do two pictures above the nightstands well a picture above the nightstands all right so over here in this guest slash kids room i just thought about it i i'm actually gonna have to remove this but in this one i'm gonna do it a little different i'm gonna place a bunk bed with a desk underneath it in here and then do a black dresser like right here put a tv above it all right so that's our guest slash teen slash kids room okay and then on the exterior this one i'm thinking we go with the black brick on the bottom and then place some white platform trimming on the bottom not platform trimming foundation since i'm going with the black color up there i need to do hold on wait i need to pull this down first and then pull this side all the way down now i can place my white fencing and then the white railing to go along with it and i need to change out this step all right so we don't got too much to do in this exterior i just need to place a fence for a little yard and then stick some fence around this little back side porch with the matching railing and the white step all right so in this yard i'm gonna do like i did in the other yards and just place some sand throughout half of the yard and then grass on the other half wait my game is kind of lagging okay i'm gonna just copy this little thing right here these monkey bars in place here and then do like a little kitty swimming pool and a few bikes back here oh we can't forget the fencing door so i'm gonna place one there all right so around this yard i'm gonna just go ahead and place some new grass remove all these little bushes and grass and stuff spray some dirt in these cracks put some grass in the front and change this little fencing down here from brown to white all right so this is the third building right here and this is what we working on we finished this apartment right here up in the last video it's fully furnished basically i mean it's a little more decorating you can do to it but for right now it's fully complete and right up above that is the sixth apartment and right up above that is the next apartment so the total after finishing this one will be six apartments complete and then we have two more to go and then it's probably going to be like one or two videos after that because i want to do something special with the yard so we probably got like three to four more videos left on this series all right but let's go ahead up here grab the sledgehammer remove all our items out and let's actually start this one off a little bit different so what i'm going to do is go ahead and work on the exterior first so like i told you guys 
guys on all these buildings i'm going to use this brown color sodding on the top in the middle and then use whatever color on the bottom and then that color will repeat itself up here so we're going to wrap this brown color all the way around this middle part and then the black will go up top around this and on the inside with this roof i'm gonna just go ahead and remove this and it's just half a wall so it's pretty simple to remove and then i'm gonna grab one of these roofs from over here i think this is half gable and place there like that and just simply take the black paint that's on the bottom and paint up here all right so now where that brown trimming is at, i'm just gonna cover that up with this white trimming and run this white trimming around this middle part and that just breaks off the two colors let's go ahead and switch out all this little ugly brown fencing around the building add the new white railing there run a little more grass around this backyard and now we need to build a yard for this upper apartment so i'm thinking we'll just do that yard back here somewhere let me just grab the matching fence and we'll start that yard around the back and i'll probably do this yard a little bigger than i did the first yard so we're gonna just draw this cross here oh hold on wait like that place some sand down here and then like i did over there half and half i know this is not half i'm gonna fix that pull it down one more okay now we got half and half well that's still not half and half this is a little bigger yard so it's not gonna be even uh in this yard we can do the monkey bars i need to turn on bb.move objects so we can place the monkey bars there and we can do the little swing set back here it's gonna be a little tight but they'll go side by side like that and then the little kiddie pool and some little bikes all right so that's it for the yard and the exterior is now basically complete let's go back into the interior oh hold on wait. we gotta remove these off the top all right so let's place some lights all throughout here and i'm going to use these little circle recess lightings like always while i paint or add the floors i like to put my kitchen design together so let's go ahead and do that down here in this other apartment we use the home chef hustle kitchen pack cabinets so i'm going to use them up here again and this time i guess i'm going to use them in white because i really don't like any of these other colors so i'm going to just use it in white and the little color scheme i got in my head for this this little bottom part right here is going to throw that off but i'm going to try to match it up the best i Game. so i'm gonna place three of those here corner cabinet here and then we're gonna do two down like that and then i'm gonna just place this here for now i know it's probably gonna disappear but i might have to replace it but we're just gonna do it like this for now just so you guys can see what i'm talking about so i'm gonna do the double stack oven i'm gonna place that raise it up a few times like that copy that cabinet place another one under it grab an oven and place that there and then the cooktop will go here and then above this i'm just gonna go with a half a tile cabinet full tile and as you guys know this pack right here comes with shelving for the middle cap for the corner cabinet so i'm just gonna take two of these full tile cabinets and place them together like that and create my own corner cabinet run that down like that and then raise this one up here okay and i think these cabinets need to go up just a little bit so i'm gonna turn half a tile and pull them up just a little bit because I feel like that's a little bit too low. All right, so here on the end, this is where the refrigerator is going to go. And then we're just going to place a half a tile cabinet above that. Right here, I'm going to do a little island. So I'm going to just do that two cabinets long and two wide. And then I'm going to place my sink here. And then the dishwasher on the opposite side of the sink. All right, so since I'm going with those gray upper cabinets, I think I should go with like a darker gray color for the backsplash in here. So let's slide this around here. And like I mentioned to you guys before I even and started placing stuff this little brown part at the bottom of these cabinets is gonna throw everything off but we just have to act like that's not there because what i want to do is use the same floors like i used down there but in this gray color and run that all the way throughout but again like i mentioned this color is kind of throwing it off i'm still gonna use those floors but i just hate the fact that that color is throwing everything off okay and i'm thinking i should make this island a little bit bigger after i put everything together and look at everything then i'm gonna decide but i think i'm gonna make that a little bit bigger so i'm just gonna place these bar stools at this island place some little lights up above man and before i place the backsplash i meant to go ahead and place this basic standard paint swatch all throughout but i'm gonna just paint it one by one so i don't mess up the backsplash and have to replace that so let's just run this all the way throughout in this living room i'm gonna do the same fireplace design like i did down there but this time without the platform and i'm just gonna use that same tile that i used as the backsplash in the kitchen on this little fireplace so i'm gonna just place this glass in this raise the platform up twice black out the inside and this time stick these black gravel floors in the bottom all right so let's run these floors these wood floors throughout the bedrooms in the bathroom i'm not sure which floors i want to go with yet but i'm gonna just go ahead and make this a little bit bigger and put my design together so it's gonna be a similar design to the last apartment I'll put two cabinets here but 
this um we're gonna put the little laundry room right here grab an archway and it'll be a side entrance to that and then back here in this space i'll place the shower tub combo and i'm gonna do this one a little bit different so i'm gonna go to half wall and go all the way down to the tallest half wall drag that across there like that and then go to 0.5 half wall and place that in front of the entrance to the tub so this is still a functional shower tub combo put some half wall trimming on top of that and then i think this is what i'm gonna use i'm not sure once i decide which floors i'm gonna use then i might end up changing this but for now i'm gonna put this on there place our toilet here and i don't want to leave this as a big open space right here so what i'm gonna do is just take two more of these cabinets and place here like that and then draw a half wall right there all right so let's just go ahead and paint in this little space where the laundry room is gonna be um i'm not gonna place the floors yet because i'm still not sure which floors i'm gonna use yet but i'm gonna just go ahead and grab this stacked washer and dryer slide in there place mirrors along these back walls on both sides and then i have to do a build hack in here because this won't be functional other way so i'm gonna raise it up once and slide that in between there like that and then we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side and in this bathroom i think i want to go with the limestone tile floors again but in this light gray color and then place one of these half a tile cabinets out the kitchen above this toilet like we did downstairs i'm gonna take this black door and place here and then this is the upper level apartment so i can do a big sliding door so we're gonna take this sliding door right here and place up here and that's the exit out to the balcony in this dining room i'm gonna take this table place here in the center this is a pretty big table than what i usually use probably just gonna grab these chairs run these all the way around and then in this one i'm gonna use more modern style couches i haven't actually used this couch right here so i'm gonna use this in this living room and this actually fits perfectly i'll probably just slide that like right there grab this modern style table and place in the center and I'm not sure which one of these chairs is the match to that couch. I'm not sure. I'm thinking it may be this one. Yeah, this is definitely it. So I'll just place this one here and i'm not gonna do one on this side because i'll be interfering with that door all right so let's place this lighter gray rug here oh wait that's not the gray i thought let's remove that okay and i feel like this rug right here will work we can place this underneath here we need to adjust it a little bit but place that there slide this chair over a little bit and slide this table back all right so i'm gonna place this curved tv up on this fireplace i just need to shrink it down once place it and pull it down just a little bit oh and we almost forgot i can actually place a window i can actually place two windows there so let's grab this little skinny side window in place here then i already see the perfect thing to place i can place this little plant right here well actually oh uh, this is gonna be too big oh my god that would have been the perfect picture too okay so we can't use that one but we definitely can use this picture right here so i'll just lower this down turn on half a tile and place it in the center in between the moat the crown mold in the baseboard and then stick this picture right in front of it like that okay and this living room looks a little plain but at the same time it still looks nice i think i should actually lighten up these couch colors and like i mentioned to you guys while i was doing this kitchen i was thinking about making this island a little bit bigger and i think that's what i'm gonna do because it looks a little small so we're just gonna add a extra cabinet in here to make this a little bit bigger grab an extra bar stool place there slide this light along with that boom then add another light here i definitely want y'all to drop down in the comment section and give me y'all opinions on this so far I feel like this is turning out fire i thought this design was kind of gonna kind of be messed up because of these cabinets in this kitchen but everything actually still goes the other well i'm noticing this bedroom over here is missing a window so i'm gonna just place one here paint that black and then lower this one down in this bedroom and paint it black also since i made that bathroom bigger both of these bedrooms are both the same size but i'm gonna use this one as the master i'm gonna use these as nice things even though this isn't the same gray color maybe we'll be able to change the bed color afterwards i'm gonna place one there and one here oh and i forgot i had this i actually was wanting to add these to my bedrooms i'm gonna start adding these these ceiling fans so i'm gonna place one in each bedroom and then just like in the last apartment i'm gonna run a light above of each nightstand like that all right so i'm gonna place this picture right here above the bed and then one of these on each side of this nightstand okay the picture is ugly but the framing is nice oh and i don't think we're gonna be able to do a dresser at the foot of this bed because of how tight this is so let's try it though yeah that's definitely gonna be way too tight so in this bedroom we can't do too much with using a dresser or, or chest in here so what i'm gonna do is just take this curved tv and place on this back wall and then i might do this like a little accent 
bathroom wall for the guest slash kids room i want to do something a little bit different it's just a little extra i want to add a computer that's in here so i'm gonna place that low that window nice little computer on top and then a chair to go to the desk and here we got to do a twin size bed oh i like this little twin size bed right here i never used this one place that there and then put this on both sides as like the little nightstands basically add a lamp on top of one and then just a little decoration on top of the other one above the bed we're gonna place a picture and it's the same in this bedroom i cannot place a dresser at the foot so we just gonna do a tv down here all right you guys so that is another apartment complete that is apartment number six and yeah we're slowly but surely finishing up this renovation series right here we got three buildings complete they all look different they all got their own little touches on the inside their own little kitchen designs bathroom designs and living room designs so yeah y'all drop down in the comment section and let me know out these three completed buildings which one is y'all favorite and which apartment is y'all favorite let's start over here at the first one so this is the first apartment this is the second one we did and coming into this i did not know how i was going to design any of these i just came in blank and just went in and started remodeling but this is the third one and i don't know why the cabinets disappeared in here but i'll fix that and this is the fourth one this one right here i like the way this one came out i like the way this living room and stuff came out this is like the best living room design i did in all out of all of these apartments and then the sixth one right here but y'all drop down in the comment section let me know what y'all think it is let me know which one of these apartments is y'all favorite and yeah by the time this video drops tomorrow i'm already either gonna have my twitch link in the description of this video or i'm gonna post it in my community so be looking for that because i will be going live on twitch soon and i'm gonna be starting up some new build series so drop down in the comment section let me know what y'all think about that and yeah i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video video.